Waiting for a Baby Brother by Katherine Kembelik, illustrated by Git Spee. One morning, Emma arrived at school feeling very excited. She said, I'm having a baby. The other children said, A baby? No way. Yes, said Emma. I felt him move in my mommy's tummy. At playtime, Emma was all on her own. Miss Jones went to talk to her. Why are you sad, Emma? It's the others, grumbled Emma. They don't believe I'm having a baby. When is the baby coming? asked Miss Jones. Um, I don't know, said Emma. That evening, Emma told her parents. My friends at school don't believe I'm having a baby. Her mom said, Well, it's me who's having a baby. You are going to have a little brother. It's the same thing, said Emma. Your baby is my little brother. When is my baby coming, Mom? Tomorrow? Dad said, Wow, not so fast. We have to wait a bit longer than that. The baby will come when the cherries on the tree in the garden are red and ready to eat. Oh, said Emma. Dad, can we go and look? They went out to look at the tree. The branches were covered with thousands of little white flowers. Emma was surprised. Those aren't cherries. No, said her dad. They're flowers. But you can't eat flowers, said Emma. No, said her dad again. But these flowers will soon turn into red cherries. When? asked Emma. I don't want to wait. I want the cherries now. I want my little brother now. Her mom said, don't worry, Emma, it will happen soon when the weather gets warm. Emma went to bed that evening feeling very happy. She didn't listen to the story her dad was reading. She was already dreaming. In her dream, the white cherry tree turned all red. In her dream, there was a baby asleep in a cozy nest at the foot of the tree. His little mouth was like a pretty heart-shaped cherry. After that, every evening, Emma fell asleep dreaming about a tree that got redder and redder because it had so many cherries. Every morning, Emma hurried to the window to look at the cherry tree. One day, she noticed that the tree wasn't white anymore. It wasn't red either, like in her dreams. Emma got worried. She ran into her parents' room and said, Dad, Mom, the cherry tree has turned green. Her dad smiled and took her out into the garden. He said, Can you see what's on the branches? Little green balls, said Emma. But they're hard. We'll never have any cherries, and then I'll never have a little brother. Yes, you will, said Dad. These little green balls will become big, red, delicious cherries. Emma said, Will my baby brother come too? Yes, my darling, promised her dad. A few days later, Mom was out in the garden, sorting through some tiny baby clothes. Emma climbed up on a chair. I want to choose some clothes for my baby brother. He needs little red socks, red trousers, and a red jumper, just like the cherries. Emma looked at the tree and said, Oh, look, Mom, the cherries are pink. 
Can I try one? They aren't ripe yet, said Mum. We have to wait a bit longer. I don't want to wait anymore, said Emma crossly. I want one now. If I have a cherry now, I'll have my brother now too. That evening, Emma was in a bad mood. Her little brother was taking too long to arrive. She listened to the story Dad read, and she didn't dream about the red cherry tree with a baby under it. The days passed. One warm, sunny morning, Emma put on her pink shorts and her flowery t-shirt. She went outside to play on the swing, feeling happy. She went up so high, she almost touched the cherries. Whee! <gasps> oh, the cherries were red. Emma couldn't believe her eyes. She hurried back to the house, shouting, Dad, the cherries are red. But her dad didn't hear her. He was talking on the phone. Then he said, Emma, the baby is about to be born. Mom and I are going to the hospital. Auntie Laura is going to come look after you. You can come and see your little brother tomorrow. I promise. The next day, Emma went to the hospital. Shh. It was very quiet in the room. The baby was asleep in his mother's arms. Emma whispered, can I hold him? Of course, my darling, said her mom. Come and sit by me. We can both hold Nathan and dad can take a photo. Emma was very proud of her little baby. She was very gentle with him. She couldn't believe how tiny he was. She leaned over and gave him a kiss on his forehead. A few days later, there was a surprise after school. Mom and Dad came to collect Emma with baby Nathan. All the children crowded around the pram to look at Emma's little brother. Careful, said Emma. This baby is my little brother. See, I told you I was having a baby. The End <laughs>